What's going on guys? Brian here and today I'm going to show you guys how to smoothly change the mood in your video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. You can use any type of clip to create this mood change effect. In this example, I'll be using the clip I shot outside where I quickly put my hood on, just to add some dramatics to the effect. Once you have your clip filmed or have found footage that you want to use, hop on Final Cut Pro. Drag that clip that you're going to use and place it on the project timeline. If you want to add some speed ramping to your clip, similar to what I did in this clip, do so now before the next step. Now, highlight the clip and then press Command plus C on your keyboard to copy the clip. Then paste it by pressing Command plus V and drag it on top of the first one. In the effects browser, look for color correction and drag it on top of the first clip. Enter the color board and adjust the settings and color to how you want your beginning clip to look like. For this one, I'm going to give it a bright, warm look by increasing exposure just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to adjust the colors around the yellow and orange range. You should definitely play around with the colors just to give it that look that you want. Once you are done that, highlight the top clip and press V on your keyboard to temporarily disable the clip when we edit the bottom one. Now we are going to give the bottom clip a darker, moodier look so that it will be drastically different from the top one. Add color correction to this clip as well. Enter the color board then turn saturation down all the way. Adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights under exposure until you get that moody look that you like. Try adding effects from the effects tab such as cast to add to the look. Once you're done color grading the bottom clip, highlight the top clip and press V again to enable it. Find the part on the top clip where you want the mood change to begin. Once you have found it, place the scrubbing bar on it, go to the top right corner and add a keyframe to opacity. Move over to the frame where you want the mood change to end and then head back to the opacity tab and change the number from 100% to 0%. If you want to add to the overall moody change effect, I suggest adding some sound effects. For instance, I would probably add some park ambient sounds in the first clip, then have some type of eerie sound when the mood change happens. I would even add some type of whoosh sounds during the transition. <laughs> I get my sound effects from audioblocks.com and videocopilot.net. Music and sound effects, they play a huge part in this effect, so make sure that you find the right one to use. Mm -hmm. 